So we are off to the walk park. See you there. Say hi to the people them home and abroad. Chris is gonna do a walk to get this. Okay, Chris is gonna go all by yourself. Come on, Chris, come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Did I do the cover? Yeah. What you got is good. That's why you refuse to let me walk out your life. You refuse to match up with my vibe. Keep wasting my time. Getting ready to go on my first excursion here. We are gonna do buggy riding, see a bit of the culture, um, experience how they make the coffee, uh, the chocolate, sorry, and stuff like that. So I'm taking my GoPro, so see you guys there. por 25 hasta 30 minutos y después los actividades dry we roast them in the dominican microwave right here then we peel them off we grind them and we got the cocoa dominican republic is part of the 10 best chocolate 10 best cocoa in the world Plantation, you guys have now an invitation to try coffee tea chocolate mama juana and more my name is leo Let's go. Ahí está. Vamos ya. Si lo pueden pasar, por favor, con la mano. You, with your, oh no, tú no, tú te ocupas, está bien. Vamos acá. Ok, si lo pueden pasar de mano en mano, por favor. Solamente habla español o... Y este es el ron de coco. This is the coconut rum. Que es la fermentación de ron en la noche. Aceite de coco natural. Virgin coconut oil. Para hidratar el pelo y la piel. To moisturize the hair and skin. Cache bomba. This gets ladies in the mood. Ok, vamos a dejarlo ahí. Y esta es la mama Juana, que es nuestra bebida típica. This is our... Ahí está. Allá tenemos café, we got coffee over there. Té de chocolate, chocolate tea. Y acá tenemos los licores. We have the coconut liqueur and banana liqueur. Adelante. Pueden probar uno de cada uno. You can try one of each. Adelante. Okay. 
this? Are you, are you, am I using this kind of chocolate to pour? You never used to like it? Uh, no, I never used to like it. Because it's like your pure, pure chocolate and it is numb and, and I, I never used to like it. Oh, it's too warm. Hello, should I try the coconut one too? Yeah. Mm. That's good.
next day. So now we're getting ready to head out to the beach. So I am in a normal black bikini and I'm going to wear my cover up. Got it for my mother in law while she was in Jamaica. It's lovely. Later. I've been seeing the sea view from like the end of this corridor. I've never walked down there, but I'm going to take a trip down there right now. It's probably quite <laughs> But these are all rooms inside. Here's just another view from my height of the hotel and it's two pools. I've just shown you there is one of the pools that they have on the premises. Uh, very abandoned right now because everyone's sleeping. But there's one of the pools down there nearest to the beach side. There's actually two pools. There's one in the far distance. There's one in the far distance that you guys probably can't even see but I'm actually go down there. So there's one pool here another pool here and then here's the beach area and then in the on the grounds they have fountains here they have a main fountain like all the way up to like reception area and all the restaurants they have fountains where you can take amazing pictures so guys it was super windy this day so i'm just going to talk through the next few bits so i give you another view of the hotel the building that i was staying in uh, the hotel grounds and in a few seconds we'll get to see the fountain where a lot of pictures are taken it's super cool the white is a nice reflection when you take a picture and stuff like that yeah so that's the building this is the hotel grounds to the left there is a restaurant then to your right we're going to the first pool here is where volleyball's played you can actually see the volleyball net and I show you how deep it is, just if you wanted a reference. I don't know. I don't know. I'm catering for all here. So that you have a lot of deck chairs here. Um, so there's a lot of space, a lot of places for you to sit down and enjoy the sun. Here's another view of the rooms and the buildings where you could be staying in. Then we move on to a kiosk. Here you can buy tickets for the Coco Bongo show, which is like an entertainment uh theater place well a disco place i guess it, which is near to the hotel here we have some more deck chairs this is the second pool this is the pool bar um you have places to sit inside the pool you have a table or like a bar or like yeah just so you can sit down and enjoy your drinks then we moved on to the outside bar where you can actually get some chicken to the left of the screen there and sit down and eat and enjoy and order some cocktails yeah so i'm just showing you the chicken area i think they also have burgers there i never went there during my stay then we move on to the beach um it was super windy as i said so that was a quick tour of the pool areas um the pool bars and just a bit of the rooms and the corridors and what they're looking like um Right now, just walking on the beach. There's so many, so many palm trees here. Like, or is it coconut trees? I'm not quite sure. Sorry, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> palm trees or coconut trees? Uh, they planted here. Like, let me see. So again, the wind was overpowering this clip. But I just wanted to show you how much seaweed and how much um, debris from the sea that's been washed up onto the sand. Um, obviously the beaches are very pretty but sometimes that's a bit of a downfall. Anyway, it doesn't matter, it's nature. Um, I'm showing you there a red flag because the sea conditions were getting out of control because there was a potential hurricane coming. Yes, there was a hurricane.